What's that, pussy cat? Pink pen that's on the back there. Oh right, I'll get you that. Are you starting on that side? No, I'm starting on this side. We've got to rip all these fucking screws out. Or if you can pass a hammer up, maybe I'll bash them in. Oh. Oh, God, this is a nightmare. I'll, I'll pass the hammer up, darling. No, that's not going to work. Um, they're protruding so far out. Yes. Can I be of assistance? How do I reverse this thing? See the black, the black um, right. circle in front of the yellow bit? You just okay. change gear with that. That's it, and then it'll swivel the other way. These are rusted. Oh, yeah. Oh. You'll have to pass me the manual one. Okay. If I use a wrench, I'll probably take half the roof up. This okay. is really not the time to be filming. Yeah. Worried. It's very windy, I hope we can hear you okay. It's not quite long enough. Not quite long enough. Oh. Sliding away at the moment. Not quite long enough. Oh. Okay, darling, you've done half the roof already. Half the pieces are in place. They're going to have to go up and come down and go up and come down several times with various treatments and cutting and stuff. I'm going to mark it in a minute. It's quite rough, the roof up there. It's really scratching my legs, actually. Do you want some long trousers? It's too hot. And I thought about putting a sheet up there. It's, it's just really strong fiberglass. Yeah, you need, you need to paint some, something on them, don't you, on the, on the downside. Yeah. They need to be treated with but something. I'm not doing that until I've cut them. Right. And got them the right shape, and they're all in position. OK. Um, and also, I, I probably won't... Well, I've got to go and buy tissue and resin. This is fibreglass tissue. Yeah. yeah, that's something... A couple of people made the comment and said, don't use fibreglass, use epoxy. I'm not sure they understand. Epoxy is fibreglass. There's polyester or there's epoxy. Epoxy is the more expensive one, and yeah, that's the one I'd use. Perhaps they, they call it something else in America. But epoxy, epoxy is the best. Epoxy is the better resin of the yeah. two, but it's a lot more expensive. It is if you're doing a massive project. We did polyester on Far Bend, but uh, this is a fairly small project in comparison. What I'll probably do is paint the underside with epoxy, and I will put a bit of tissue, stick it to the bottom and the side, you know, after I've staple gunned it. Because you know what tissue's like? It bubbles up, doesn't it? So I'll get it really nice and smooth. And then I'll put, so then that side will go face down and the tissue hanging over the edge, I will bring over the top so that the edge of the plywood, where it's going to get the weather the worst, will be totally sealed in. And then over mm. the back edge, I'll do some filming in a minute because they stand a bit proud of the roof. Right, right. Um, I will bring the tissue over, down and onto the existing roof and I'll staple gun it and then epoxy it so it's not... That's the thing with, um, if you, you, even if you use epoxy on epoxy, if they are applied at different times, even a week or two apart, they never really fuse together, do they, forever. Mm, if you're going to do, do a job, you've got to do it do in laminate. one go. But if you use a staple gun to staple either your, your weave or your tissue down and then epoxy it, it's never coming out. Never, yeah, and yeah. that's what I intend. The to problem do. with plywood is the is the um, the water gets into it, and it, it it damages the glue, and that's when the layers start to yeah. delaminate. So that's if, if you happen. seal it properly, then it, it, water should never get into it. And it, it should last donkey's years. Surely, It'll last decades. Actually, the cheap stuff we put up there that I pulled up the other day that hadn't delaminated because we soaked it in polyester. Right. That was that hadn't bowed or anything it, it was yeah, yeah. what it was a year or two after we bought the boat there was some kind of ball thing hanging on the underside of that helmet and on reflection i think they were some kind of termite nest 
or, or something like that. It disappeared. We came down one year and it was gone and we've never had termites on the boat. But they obviously nibbled away or it could have been bees or it could have been wasps, I don't know. Well, some sort of insect. It, yeah, it was some sure. kind of insect. Had, um, the, some of the kids who lived on the boat before us, they had an ant's nest. God, and they let them escape. But the ants left years ago. How's it going, darling? Going well. Very well. It's, it's psychological as well. I feel a lot safer up here now. I know I'm not, but you know when you've got rotten edges of a boat, you think, oh crikey, I don't want to go near the edge of that. Have you put screws in the other boards in front yeah. of this one? Yeah. They're not going to blow away then? Uh, jolly good. Right, so what's your idea about... Oh, well, when you pop down, I'll show you. Because you see, this corner is lower than that corner. I see. It's like it's sloped. It's sagging way. more. Obviously, this corner has weakness because of the hatch. Yeah, yeah. And always has. Well, when you come down, I'll show you. Okay. I'll come down now. Okay. Right, well, you see these cracks? Let me just move this door. Yeah. You see where this was? Yeah. I mean, that, that's jacked up quite a bit. Yeah. That's how it's come apart. But yeah. we could put that offcuts of the thick plywood here and screw it in if that's... I don't know it's how... It's not really substantial. Because that could add support to both sides because the other side... They're fairly pathetic, those things. No, what I need is this post... Um, it's, it's bent, you can see it's bent. I mean, it's going to bend. It's not really that strong, is it? No. I suppose I could just force the plywood with a screw. The plywood Whereas itself... I, could, I could screw in um, some support there from, from your offcuts. I'll see how I get on up there. It's just a theory. It's just a wheeze, you know? I Don't take any woodwork advice from me. I always knew piece number six was going to be difficult. <laughs> okay, we'll crack on, Kitty. Yeah, right. What are you doing that for, Fiona? Just to seal it so that rainwater won't, well, rain won't, water won't get near this. I'm only doing a thin coat. Because it'll dry, it'll set like nobody's business in this weather. Because if rain soaks into the boards, it delaminates the glue, doesn't it? It messes with the glue. That's right. That's a good idea. Are you going to do both sides? Um, well, the underside is very important, and the sides, and then I'll screw it back up. Probably not. I don't think I've got enough yacht varnish, because mm. I'll put them back on one at a time, and then I'll have to take them off again one at a time once I've got the epoxy. So, um, right, okay, so it's just for now then? Yeah? yeah, yeah. It is one less job that I've got to worry about later on, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get that roller moving. Do you want to make sure you do the sides? I've done them. Because that's, that's where it splits from. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, it's going to have epoxy on it as well, but I can't see it hurts doing this. You can't. Thank you, you can't for the hurt. advice. That's... <laughs> No, I'm seriously. Thank you. Hold well on, darling. Right, I'll put that in a carrier bag. To Somebody to pass the board back up to you. I oh, just let it dry first. I'm gonna let it dry. How long do you reckon it'll take to dry? <laughs> Ten minutes. It's I'll thirty degrees outside, I'll put so it in the sun. and breezy. Won't take long at all. But then I want to put that bit back up because I need the other bits to line them up for the holes. If you see what I mean. Yes, I'll of take course. The next bit off. Right. Okay. And work my way round. My biggest fear. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool that little screwdriver you got. Well, I'm glad it works. Yeah, it's, if only we'd had this thought to get one of these all those years ago when we were doing the sides. It's only cheap, but only five, I want it, isn't it? 
very cheap. The Chinese shop is, is just so brilliant and she's so lovely. Don't fall. I'm not going to fall. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to try and climb the ladder and hold the phone at the same time. I have got a well-earned vino, if I do say so myself. Right, I'll just, just got to get up here, actually, without falling off. For some reason, I feel a lot more secure being up here now that these boards are on. And what I did was I screwed them all together, dogged up quite tight to each other with just a few pilot screws. And then I unscrewed them one at a time. I marked them with a felt tip underneath the line where we need to cut. And I took them down one at a time, passed them to Graham, who has been astonishingly helpful today. I can't thank him enough. It's been real teamwork. I've done all the stuff up on the roof and then he's been passing the pieces up to me and down. And um, then I would make the line more perfect and he's been doing the cuts with the jigsaw. I was happy to do the cuts. I started doing the first cut and he went, stop, I'm doing the cut. So I don't know what he's trying to say about my jigsawing skills. I always thought I was quite good with a jigsaw. All right, it was a little bit more wobbly than Graham's. Graham's are like perfect. Uh, and then once they were cut, I did them with, I uh, found a tin of yacht varnish that Benji had left over from when he was doing his cabin. The perfect amount. Uh, really good uh, yacht varnish. So I varnished them underneath and around all the sides one at a time, let it, it dry, more or less, and put it back up, screwed it up with its pilot holes, and then the ne same with the next one and the next one. There are six pieces in total. And then once I got them all up, they're the right shape, they've just got their pilot holes in, then I um, used the last of the varnish to do a yacht varnish over the top to stop the waters. And the thing is, although it's not probably not going to rain, um, what is... Um, happening is there's a bit, big fire going on over in um, uh, Punta Canero from what I can see, that's, that's where my bosses live um, anyway um, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say I'll show you the wood and then you can see for yourself what it's like so there's still a bit to go here we go they weren't quite enough to go right to the end there but that corner piece there, God, I hope this is strong enough to stand on, that bit there is actually pretty solid. I've checked that and the back is all nice and solid. It's literally the sacrificial thing that rotted away on the corner. The actual structure is good. So we've got all these pieces of wood up now. On this side, which was the worst side. And then we've got again it wasn't quite long enough to go to the back but I'm going to do some long pieces a long piece and another long piece um, and we've got this side done as well so that's much better I'm not going to walk on it yet I mean it will be strong enough and safe enough to walk on but what I've got to do next tomorrow is have a good look at each piece well unscrew each piece pull it back and mark where the spars are so that when I drill the ultimate screw holes um, I know where they are apart from that I've also then got to go to the outside of the boat which is a little bit more tricky and look up and see if it needs packing or anything underneath to get each piece level because I want all three of the pieces level. Once they're all secure and level, I'm then going to put ready, ready mixed grout, bathroom tile grout. In my experience, I have plastered all the walls in my house with it and it's never come off. It sets as hard as a rock. I've used a ton of it on this boat in places you wouldn't imagine and it sets as hard as a rock and it's totally waterproof. So I'm going to put filler between each of the joins and around uh, along here um, 
I probably won't do that till Monday because the other thing I've got to do is buy the tissue. Um, which it, it literally looks like tissue paper, but it's very strong. And I'm going to take each piece off and attach and fiberglass it on the underside, the edge, and bring it over the top so that the edges, the, all the leading edges, are totally protected from the weather. Um, and then when they go back down, I will then uh, epoxy the tops, but the filler will go in before that. So they're all dead level and it's all dead smooth. And finally, when I, I am going to do the whole roof actually because these pieces of marine ply are extremely high grade very good quality and I don't think expensive at all um, nowhere near as expensive as, as some of the really rubbish stuff in the store in Leroy Merlin so I'm going to get the rest of it from Madrid um, and I'm figuring I'm going to need about 18 pieces including these six I think about 18 pieces will do it and the next job I'll do is I will go along the front and then I will work my way back um, and, and really I want to strengthen it and I'll be using longer screws to secure other stuff down so it will be one, the roof will be one complete unit so I may well order the epoxy tissue and resin in one order actually because it's quite a large area and then once I've got the whole roof finished I will get some more epoxy and I will get what's known as pigment. Uh, you put a little bit of white pigment in it and it turns it from clear to, to white, like white paint, and I will finish the whole roof off with white paint. And then what we want to do ultimately is put a railing all the way around, um, a solid railing made of much thinner ply and frame so that we can use this area up here because it's a really cool area. I have to say, I can't wait to see the back of this fucking windmill. I, this thing has been banging me on the head all day. And he ties it off. Like that, see? Because if he doesn't, it goes all night long. We've got it out of the bins and it's never worked. It's never been connected. It's never done anything. I think I'm going to take it to the house. The thing is fiberglass the bolts and the base so it's it's really quite a business to perhaps we'll have a table over all that when we've finished and the seats around the edge I don't know why I'm whispering because he's gonna edit the video and he's gonna hear everything I've just said anyway there you go